All right. <clears throat> We're going to have a little bit of Mega Drive slash Genesis Mortal Kombat 3 playing while I talk to you. I just comment. I just comment. Uh, apparently, I'm building a brand on being negative. So I left a comment back and said, well, you can apologize when you realize that most of my videos uh, haven't been that way. This is the problem though. This is this is this is the primary factor when it comes to the modern Mortal Kombat fan or fanboy, right? Maybe we should just start calling them Myrtles, Myrtle Kombat fans, because they really do act like old ladies, you know. I need everything to be happy and wonderful. Don't say anything negative. The problem is though, is that and I figured it out. I figured out what it is. Take a good look at all the influencers and the big people in the MK community now. I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I'm saying. Right? This is why people love the new Mortal Kombat movie. Because they grew up on Twitter. Right? They grew up on Twitter and fan fiction and being around people who don't care about story anymore, who don't care about lore, who don't care about good gameplay. All they care about is being Hone and blood and guts, right? They don't care about the rest of it. Have a good look. Right? Now, I'm not saying I'm, I'm better or anything like that, right? I'm just being just good old me and people have known me for a while you know that's how I am right if you like the stuff you like the stuff but I'm gonna call a spade a spade and the MK community has gone from being like the most sort of you know like metal uh, you know sort of like yeah you know sort of experience to, to literally reading dudes wishing that they could deep throat effing Kenshi on Twitter. I don't need that shit on my timeline, bro. Right? I don't need to see that. Like, like it's a video game. Right? I mean, Tifa Lockhart's pretty hot, but pretty hot, but like, hot, hot. But, you know, I'm not actually going to fap to her. And this is the same people the very same people that are writing this sort of garbo are the same people that are telling others that say, hey, you can't fap to the women now because they're not as attractive as you think they should be. This is the absolute state of the MK community. What a joke. What a effing joke, man. Right? The character law used to be great. The character game, like the gameplay used to be great. You know, the overall story used to be great. In some instances, I actually wish that we didn't have some overarching narrative. You know, like the earlier games had kind of like tournament and then uh, tournament, but in Outworld and then uh, Outworld invades. And, you know, and that was kind of it. Like, you know, that's all we got. And then, you know, uh, everyone always knew Liu Kang was the chosen one, so it was like, yep, cool, whatever, like, I love that, that's fine, right? And then, it, and then something changed, and then, it's, it's so weird, it's like, Netherrealm forgot who their MK fans really are. And they started pandering and stuff, and, you know, we see this a lot with modern gaming, this, this, like, it's literally, like, being run by activists. And everyone knows it. I don't care what you say, right? But you, you now have, and this is the problem. I know I keep saying it, but it's absolutely true. People who will just shill for anything, and that's what we've got. They know how to you you to work the YouTube algorithm. They know how to shill. They know that even if they don't actually agree with what is going on. They will agree with it and go along with it because it opens doors for them or they get more money. And my God, maybe, you know what? 
I just cannot stand that dude. Like, that is just so, just so cheap and fake, right? Can't stand it. You know, don't be critical of Mortal Kombat. Why? Am I going to hurt its feelings? Am I going to hurt its feelings if I say I don't like it? You know? I've been pretty excited for the release of Mortal Kombat 1 until I saw it. And then I'm like, oh, that looks pretty good. And then I started to see the cracks and the cracks turn into massive chasms from the earthquake. And then now, short of me, me getting my hands on it, I think I'm pretty much going to know how it's going to be. Right? We've seen enough gameplay now. Okay. Seeing new characters isn't going to make all that much of a difference because, yes, they'll have their movesets, that's great. But there's the anxiety of knowing, okay, how have you retconned this character? And it's the same with the movie. How have they retconned characters? Kano was never hanging around with Sonya ever. Ever. There was never any magical dragon symbol that you were born with. Like, it's just fan fiction. And people sit there and act like it's the greatest thing ever. All the fights are amazing. Really? You need to go watch some stuff from the 90s, bro. Like, maybe they didn't have the blood and the gore that you so crave because it's just really cringe that people get so, like, bona fide over that. And I love fatalities. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the part of fatalities in Mortal Kombat. But Mortal Kombat has gone from... It's, it's literally starting to become a horror game in the way that they do their fatalities. Right? We had people who were getting PTSD that are part of Nether Realm, right? You can look this up. They were getting PTSD because they were researching cadavers and body mutilation and like dismemberment and stuff of real life corpses so they could make it more realistic. How unstable do you have to be? It's a video game. Just make that shit up on the go. Right? No, I don't know if anyone was pushing that. You know? Because, you know, there's been, like, you know, has Ed Boon or anyone come out and said, you know, oh, yeah, no, that was really bad. Like, you know, we never intended, like, for that to happen to our employees to, you know, research dead bodies. It's not just one grain of sand, it's a whole bunch that are making a heap. And the state of modern Mortal Kombat is a joke. That's why other fighting games don't go through this problem. One, because they're Japanese based, right? They realize that making their customer happy is the primary motive here. Not, you know, having self inserts or fan fiction or oh, I feel bad because I've gotten to this age and I don't really like how I made that character, so I'm going to retcon it and then make everyone feel bad because they don't like me retconning it. That's the way it is. Liu Kang! I saw somebody call him a bigot on Twitter because apparently he didn't like that Kung, Je uh, Kung, Kung Jin was, um, you know, part of those certain affiliated groups, right? Oh, he's a bigot. It's A, it's a fictional character. Funnily enough, that character never came back. Right? And probably won't ever return unless they did an Armageddon game. Like an Armageddon 2.0. So who's really the bigot? Liu Kang? Or the developers of Netherrealm? Right? Personally, putting any politics is bad. But then there's always that argument, oh, well, you know, there's always politics. Well, you got straight people in there. I'm not even going to justify that with a response, you know. The fact is, though, is that the state of modern, modern Mortal Kombat is absolutely in the gutter. It's awful. Because, you know, like, the most amount of anxiety that we used to have as MK fans was worrying about whether or not A, our character was going to be in the roster, and B, what sort of, like, character moves it was going to have. We never worried about the endings or like the profile of the character because we knew that there was consistency for like nearly, you know, at least 25 years, at least, right? Maybe, maybe less than that because things started going down the toilet in MK10. MK10 solid roster, like solid game to a degree, 
but that's when the cracks really start to show. And then, you know, that's all we have to worry about. You know, or, you know, maybe getting used to the new mechanics. But we always knew Mortal Kombat was tight gameplay, right? And everything always felt fair. So if you see my videos talking about MK1, you'll see what I'm talking about, right? But now we have to worry about, oh, are they going to retcon this character? Are they going to retcon that character? Is this the main motivation for Mortal Kombat 1? We've already had Raiden had a massive race swap to, you know, to a character that I actually thought was the original Great Cool Lao, which I thought was going to be awesome. I thought that was the story they're going, no, nah, they're not doing that. No, nah, we're just going to, we're just going to do the same bullshit, you know, uh, you know, time travel slash reset slash, you know, whatever. Um, just so we can, we can reintroduce these characters differently. And what happens then? In the sequel to Mortal Kombat, oh my god, like, do you know what I mean? But you know, no one that actually has a big following, big influence, who are in positions to ask Netherrealm these questions, not a single one of them asks these questions. Why would you change this character's race? It doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? Right? Why does the gameplay look stiff and janky like an MK11? Why didn't you bring back, you know, you say that Tag wasn't loved, but everyone that I talked to, that I've heard from that loved MK9 and loved Mortal Kombat in general, not a single person has that a said a negative thing about the Tag mode. Why are there no mini games? Right? And the reason for this is very simple. The, the underlying score right of all of this is injustice as soon as they started making injustice it attracted a whole different subset of fans that started to influence and then the game changed mortal kombat to be like an injustice game that's why the gameplay feels like crap that's why there's certain things that are going on with the game that never used to be there before Right? It's a mess. You know, I used to laugh at Tekken for their stupid ass endings. At this point, I take them. Remember Tekken? They'd have those dumb ass endings and you'd be like, what? <laughs> what? Right? I'd take that in a heartbeat. God, I miss these days. Like, and keep in mind, like, I say this to people all the time, like, just because, like, you know, A, you can spend your money. I'm going to buy MK1, right? I'm allowed to buy it. I'm going to buy it. It'll probably be fun to a degree until you get online and you're fighting against clowns who just like, you know, will do the same shit in MK11, right? <laughs> the previous games still exist. And if you're on PC, you have access to all of them. So if you've got a computer, you're good to go, Right? Just because a new game you don't like doesn't mean to say that you can't play or enjoy the old ones. But I don't understand how a company that has a, a literal 30 year library is sitting on a gold mine of remasters and re-releases and doesn't do shit about it. And they keep pumping out garbage in comparison. Right? People are like, oh my god, Katana looks amazing. Yeah, she does look amazing. I agree. Character designs look really good. But the gameplay shit. We can see it in videos. It's crap, right? Having you, ba you basically just like gave the the assist mechanism in MK11 steroids, right? And, and oh, this is amazing. It's the wonderful thing ever. Yeah, but MK9 like 12 years ago had tag. Amazing, right? This isn't some great feat that they've done. MK9 had tag. Fully realized tag mode. So when you look at the state of Mortal Kombat and you see the people that are pushing and shilling and defending everything about it, right? And the motivations that they have for, for it. And then you can start to understand why Netherrealm then also falls into that because they're like, oh, well, you know, these, these big influencers must love it. We better do what they say because Twitter's always right. 
Oh, it's just disappointing, man. Right? Absolute state of the of the MK space. And then people go, oh, how dare you be critical? How dare you be negative? I don't want to be negative. I want to be happy. I was excited about MK9, and I was. The only negative thing I said about MK9 when it was coming out was the fact that it was banned in my country. That's it. MK9 is a great game. MK10 was pretty good too. The only negative thing about MK10 was the fact that, yeah, they were starting to show censorship. The story was suckful, right? And on Steam anyway, they had this weird system of like downloading the game piecemeal. It was awful. But otherwise, fairly solid game. But I started to see massive, massive problems in MK11, right? Not at first, but after we started seeing some gameplay, characters and character designs and story retcons, it just started to make a heap. And I'm like, hmm, that's bad, bro, right? Other people started seeing it. But because the people that are financially motivated to constantly shill, right? <clears throat> they shut down any, you know, any uh, disagreeing thought we're going, you're just wrong. Because how do you know? Why are you so... Ne you know, this is the final point I'm going to give, right? For the clowns out there that sit there and go, well, you know, you haven't played it yet. Well, neither have you, right? And the ones that have played it, played it for like 30 minutes. You can literally see with your eyeballs, it's the same type of mechanic and engine and jankiness as MK11. Just because you can add in an assist and do air combos does not change the dynamic of, of how the base engine functions. Well, it's an early build, okay. Dude, I wanna be wrong. Right? I wanna be wrong, but just like Mortal Kombat 2 movie, I'm not gonna be wrong, am I? They killed characters. They had characters that looked nothing alike. Right? Shang Tsung looked like Lopan from Big Trouble in Little China. Not like Shang Tsung. I mean, what? Uh, Kerry, you know, in the, in the first movie in 95, or whatever it was, wore a black trench coat. <laughs> and a vest. And he looked more like Shang Tsung than this clown walking around with this giant Chinese man bun. You know. You know what's missing? Testosterone. That's what's missing in Mortal Kombat. Testosterone. Right? It used to be the it used to literally be the edge lord of fighting games. Right? And that's why, like they, you know, like there was all that controversy when it came out, even with the government, you know. And, and changing the rating and all and having a rating system come in to compensate for it and stuff because it was so like wow and now look at it look at the state of it oh i wish i could get some love from kenzie what the what the hell is wrong with people my god you know <sighs> like i said tifa lockhart's hot as a video game character but you know like i'm not i'm not sitting there getting out the tissue box jeez man The good news is though, just, just to finalize, the good news is, because I was just thinking about it, so I don't like MK11, and I don't like the two movies, right? So out of three things, out of everything that has ever been produced, Mortal Kombat wise, I, I'd say I'm winning, right? I'd, I'm say I'm winning, okay? But it's it, it, in general, it's the state of gaming though, like, you know, just this, this instance like, I have to defend product, from from bad intentions do you really think netherrealm gives a shit about what i say do you think i'm gonna have any influence absolutely not right they don't care and i don't care right i'm just voicing my opinion it doesn't matter if, if mk1 could come out um 
and and it could be absolutely incredible right because that's what i want why you know it's so funny this hive mind in the mk community you must like you must like what i must like you must like what i must like you know like it's, it's so sad you know oh we have to wait until we see how the game comes out nah man i think we've seen enough right you can show new characters and stuff and they'll look cool and they'll have great movesets and that excites me but when mk1 comes out i'm gonna have to worry about how they've effed up characters that i love right i'm gonna have to worry about fighting against the fighting game engine because it's the injustice fighting game engine right they couldn't even they couldn't even develop two engines you know it's sad right two different fighting styles no too lazy <laughs> oh and third uh all the monetization that they haven't told us yet oh boy i can't wait to do that video isn't it interesting how nobody's asked about battle passes in-game currency and this is why i hate shills because they don't care they don't care at all they will defend literally anything and that sucks it really sucks you know because um this is why gaming is in the toilet on every front it's all bad because shills you know make the company's money by promoting stuff even if like i said deep down they don't agree with it and I can't stand that dishonesty. Jax when he actually looked like a like Jax. Not that not that weirdo from MK11. So anyway guys, I'll leave it there. Big rant. It's all good. Don't twist your panties in a bunch. Because I don't wear panties, so I don't have to worry about twisting. Anyway, see you next time.